delicious. Hi everybody, welcome to another evening with Sips tonight. We're gonna make our own restaurant in Cook, Serve, Delicious. Oh my god. Our restaurant is not gonna be sold at uh, selling at uh, lobsters though. Uh, that's that's one thing. Holy shit. Um, god, my heart rate has increased exponentially since I la launched this game because this music this is fucking crazy. Holy shit. Alright, like I said, we're gonna make our own restaurant. It's gonna be fantastic. Uh, it's gonna start off pretty shitty, and we're gonna make it into a thriving five-star uh, masterpiece of uh, culinary delights. It's gonna be great. Let's do it. Press enter to begin. We're doing it. I have a save ready for this as well. I'm actually prepared for once, if you can believe this. Uh, we're on day one. About to start day one, we're past the tutorial. I'll explain things as we go, as much as I know anyway. Uh, and we're gonna try to do this. So here we go. Day one, we've got 7,500 big ones. Uh, we are a no-star restaurant. As you can see, there's like some big cracks in the uh, wall back here. Uh, we got 30% buzz, uh, which is what people think about our restaurant. It's day one. I don't know what these are, and I don't know what these are. We have 7,500 big ones uh, so that we can do stuff like uh, buy foods, uh, which we'll need to then uh, add to our active menu so that we can start a day, as you can see. Uh, we can't start a day without having at least three foods active on our menu. So we're going to have to actually plan our menu uh, with food uh, that we can prepare quite easily, hopefully, and make some money off of. Uh, and then we can start our long, grueling 10-hour day, I think it is. It's like 10, 10 hours, which is actually condensed down into 10 minutes in the game. Uh, and I get a heart attack every time I play because it's just too intense for me. Far too intense for me. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, let's start then. We can go into equipment and we can buy stuff. Look at this. We can buy a grill station. We can uh, cook burgers and nachos on this bad boy. Look at that. We can sizzle up our foods and profits today. Uh, of course, the foods are sold separately. Look at this. Deep fryer, stove station, tip trays, which aren't available yet. Table snacks. Uh, the table snacks, I, I believe, are uh, to give people something to do while they're waiting for their order. Um, some stuff takes longer to make than others, and it can get quite stressful, uh, which we'll see probably in a minute. Uh, look at this. I can page through. Look at all of this shit. My god. Carry-out service, a commercial toilet, a dishwasher. Holy shit. Let me tell you. Dishwasher. Uh, it's gotta be. I don't even know when it gets unlocked, but holy crap. Garbage service. All this stuff. We basically have to run the restaurant single-handed because we're a startup, um, and also do all of the goddamn damn chores so in between cooking up uh, hot dogs and shit for people I'm also going to have to clean the toilet uh, take out the trash do the dishes and all that other good shit uh, I don't think we need anything just yet if we go into view by foods look there's a bunch of stuff that we can start serving straight away today on our first day without the uh, use of equipment look at this we can have sodas a soda fountain we don't even need to buy the soda fountain as equipment it's just a food it's a soda fountain you jump straight in and just start serving up sodas like there's no tomorrow uh, every food has this tryout option which is great before you buy it you can try and see if it works I think what you want to try to do is get a couple you want to have one sort of food I think in the menu out of the three active items in the menu that's somewhat difficult to make and then two other fairly easy ones because of like the lunch and dinner rush hours that you're gonna get people coming in and asking for all sorts of outlandish shit and you're never gonna be able to serve them all and people are gonna have to be turned away they're gonna be disappointed and they're gonna uh, decrease the buzz up here which is at 30% right now they're gonna tell all their friends that your restaurant is a uh, steaming pile of shit and you should never go there uh, and then you'll have less people to sell food to and who wants that nobody i certainly don't uh so check this out we can make uh these things sopapilas uh we can also make a corn dog which is a very easy one look i'm gonna try it out right now and show you how easy it is to make a corn dog look at this we've got the official taste tester here who looks uh exactly like steven spielberg with a hard hat on okay here we go Corn dog, uh, the classic corn dog, ketchup and mustard, please, no problem. I will smear some ketchup on your corn dog, also some mustard, and throw it at you. Look, Steven Spielberg is overjoyed with his service of a corn dog. Ketchup and mustard once again, no problem. As we can see, corn dogs uh, are not 
difficult to prepare whatsoever. I'm I'm producing them at an alarming rate. Ketchup? No problem. There you go. There's a corn dog with ketchup. Uh, I would have the ketchup and mustard, but if you just want ketchup, that's fine. Look, another one. Just ketchup. Fine. So, as we can see, corn dog's fairly easy. I can exit out of that, and I can safely purchase this knowing that I can just about handle serving corn dogs to people. Uh, this will. This is a one-star food. Look, at it, you get all the stats for the food in here. Look, this is a perfect food for opening up catering opportunities when they become available. Great. A generally easy food to make, as we just saw. Yeah, it was pretty easy. All you got to do is put a bit of ketchup and mustard on uh, when people ask for it. Also... Afternoon Delight, a great midday pick-me-up, which adds plus 2.5% buzz per Afternoon Delight food on the active menu during the afternoon hours. Great. Uh, lots of drawbacks, though. It's generally considered a snack food uh, and is not ordered during rush hours. Fine. Uh, menu Rot will decline in popularity each day. It is on the active menu, eventually adding negative buzz. So you have to actually rotate this off the active menu every once in a while. Uh, it's unappreciated. Customers never tip with this food because they're a bunch of bastards. Uh, peasant food. This food is never ordered in restaurants classified as two-star or higher. So if you're a Michelin chef, uh, corn dogs must not be on the menu unless maybe you just want to try something new, piss off all of your customers, uh, and have them leave in disgust and not leave you any tips or, uh, you know, big bank for your um, little square plate with like one piece of lettuce and a bit of ranch sauce on top of a sliver of carrot. Uh, fatty McFats, check this out, a fatty food frowned upon by weirdos. Hmm, having three of these fatty McFat foods on the active menu at once results in a minus 5% buzz. So we don't want too much fatty McFats. And also morning aroma. There are some foods that are considered unpleasant to smell in the mornings by some strange people. Uh, personally, I would love to wake up to the smell of a corn dog each and every goddamn day. But there you go. Some people do not like the smell of corn dogs in the morning. Uh, so we'll get a minus 5% buzz per morning aroma food on the active menu. Uh, but for the morning hours only. So our morning menu with corn dogs on it isn't going to be too hot. Fine though, fine, we're gonna go for it. 350 bucks, it's four bucks menu price, not upgradable. God, four bucks for a corn dog, holy shit. We're going for it. Click to confirm, yes, we now have corn dogs, great. Okay, uh, let's offset uh, a Fatty McFat with a salad. Look at that, 1200 bucks. But you can upgrade it up to three star. Everybody loves salads, holy shit. Let's try it out. It's not hard to make salads easier either, as it turns out. You just have to make sure that you get what they ask for right. So here's Steven once again. Hi, Steven. The Manhattan ranch, cheese, and everything on it. Fine, no problem. Ranch, cheese, listen to that. The squirting sound and the also kung fu slapping sound uh, when you put the food. And he wants everything, fine. Bacon and croutons, onions and peppers, mushrooms and tomatoes, greens and carrots. There you go, Steve. Fucking enjoy that. Oh shit, he's back. He's finished it already. Kids Delight, ranch and cheese, please. <laughs> the best salad. Nice and simple. Just cheese and greens. Alright, what do you want next? Cheesy leaves, ranch and cheese. Once again, ranch and cheese. There you go. Uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, they'll just be different. Look, another three in a row ranch and cheese. Get out of here, Steve. You and your fucking ranch and cheese combo. God damn it. Uh, so, the uh, drawbacks to this one is that it has a lot of waste byproducts, so we're going to be throwing out the trash on day one. Also, plate spinner served on a plate, which increases the amount of times necessary to do the dishes during the day, which is a complete and utter pain in the ass. But still, it's good because look at this. It's a staple food. Health nuts love it. Uh, you can get it to go, and which gives you bonuses, and also afternoon delight, which will give us more buzz in the afternoon. Uh, and no drawbacks in the morning, so fine. 1,200 big ones for a salad. Yes, please. We got it. So we've got two of our three foods required for the first day. Uh, is ice cream going to be Fatty McFats? Yes. Uh, we don't want another Fatty McFat, ideally. But man, ice cream is so easy to prepare. Look at that. And fucking... Look at it, it opens up catering opportunities. I thought the balloons were gonna say that kids love ice cream. Because like, kids do actually love ice cream. How can they not? Holy shit, check this out. We're gonna try it out. People can order sprinkles and a cherry. Steve, what are you gonna have? One vanilla, one chocolate, cherry and sprinkles. Fine, vanilla, chocolate, he wants a cherry and sprinkles. There you go, done. See the yellow smiley faces means that you get it right. 
Uh, two chocolate scoops with pr with sprinkles. I almost said pretzels. You can have pretzels on your ice cream if you want, Steve. It's it's up to you. Three vanilla scoops. Holy shit. That's very bland, Steve. Uh, three chocolate scoops. Kind of bland as well, but at least it's uh, chocolate. Oh my god, they're coming in thick and fast. One vanilla, one chocolate, a chair and sprinkles. Fine. Alright, let's go for it. Ice cream is a nice and easy one as well. Uh, we're gonna serve uh, salad, corn dogs, and ice cream. <laughs> ice cream has the potential going up to three stars. Holy shit. Alright, we're gonna do it. 750 big ones. Yes. It's gonna be a day. It's gonna be quite the day. Day one of our fantastic restaurant. It's gonna be incredible. Alright, active menu. We can do it. We have three foods now, and look at this. We've got these two staple foods. Ice cream being a staple food, apparently. I have no idea about that. Uh, the, uh, the old salad, which is arguably the most complicated one on the menu. And then the old corn dog, uh, which nobody wants to eat for breakfast, except for me. Great. Three active foods. Uh, so that means we're ready to start our new day, and this is where th shit is going to definitely hit the fan. Because holy shit. I mean, in the morning it's not too bad. Look, the sun's rising. Oh look, somebody wants a corn dog straight away. It's ketchup and mustard. What a degenerate asshole. And we have to do the dishes after serving one corn dog. So look, I'm just using the arrow keys to wash my dishes really quick. Because somebody's ordering ice cream. Three vanilla scoops of ice cream for breakfast. You should be ashamed of yourself. All right, the combos are rolling in. Look, two times combo again. Three vanilla scoops. What's with three vanilla scoops this morning? Holy shit, we're going to run out of ice cream at this rate. It's only going to be chocolate for lunch. Who wants chocolate ice cream for lunch? Oh, shit. The toilet needs servicing. We'll flush it and sanitize our hands. And this guy will also have two chocolate scoops with sprinkles. Done. Get out of here. Look at this. Holy shit. More ice cream. Three chocolate scoops. No problem. No sprinkles or anything. That guy doesn't like to have fun. He's got a mustache and a serious toque on, so I don't blame him. Uh, hello? Oh, a salad. Ranch, cheese, bacon and croutons. Done. Get out of here. Time to take out the trash. Here we go. We're lifting and throwing the... Oh, shit. It's rush hour. Gotta get this trash out of here. Lickety split because... The orders are mount- what's that? Ranch, greens, and carrots, get out of here. What's this? We want ranch, cheese, onions and peppers, fine. The toilet needs to be flushed. I'm not gonna get it. Ranch, cheese, and everything on it. B, oh my god. We missed it. Cheese, greens, and carrots, okay. And what about you, ranch, greens, and carrots? Get out of here. Ranch, cheese, bacon. Croutons, onions, and peppers. All right, no problem. We'll get you as well. Just greens and carrots. What the hell is your problem? Ranch, cheese, onions, and peppers. Okay. What's that? Dishes. Damn it. I did not want to do the dishes during rush hour, but here we go. We're going to have to get through really quickly. We're going to miss an order, unfortunately. <laughs> Somebody's pretty pissed about that. Uh, bacon and croutons. Okay. What about you? Ranch, cheese, mushrooms, and tomatoes. No problem. Ranch, cheese, bacon and croutons, onions and peppers, oh my lord. Uh, cheese, onions and peppers, okay, oh my lord. Uh, cheese, onions and peppers again. Ice cream? One scoop of vanilla and chocolate please, okay, no problem. We need to take the trash out and probably see to the toilet because apparently there's been a kid in there. Uh, screwing around with the flush and there's water all over it. Somebody's pissed. We've got to do the dishes again because of all these stupid salads. Holy crap, the salads are not the best idea. We're gonna miss... Oh my god, ranch and cheese, no problem. Get the hell out of here. Ranch and cheese again. What are you, Steven Spielberg's entire family? Ah, oh, give picture thumbs up. Ah, oh, we got a 5% buzz. Great. Ranch, greens and carrots. Good god. Again, with the toilet. Oh, holy crap. Listen to this fantastic music. This is so good. Ranch, cheese, onions and peppers. Oh, God. That guy was wearing a full wife beater. Ranch, cheese and carrots. Greens and carrots. Cheese and carrots. What the hell am I talking about? That guy looked like Ray Romano. Happy to serve you, Ray. Oh, look, a corn dog. Ketchup and mustard. Like a professional. Look at this, we're getting through them. We got 45% buzz. That's up from 30 earlier. Just greens and carrots. What the hell is wrong with you? Live a little, have some ranch. Jesus Christ. 
I'm the angriest cook in the entire world. Uh, two chocolate scoops with sprinkles. Somebody knows how to have a party. It's this guy with a uh, rip in his coat. Oh shit, we got rats. We're gonna set set the, the trap for the rats. One scoop of vanilla and chocolate. No problem. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That guy actually looked a little bit like Saddam Hussein ordering ice cream in my restaurant. It's fine, I'll serve anyone. I just want to turn over some sort of profit today. Shit, it is once again rush hour. Get out of here, old man. Take your corn dog. I've got a rush hour to attend to. Ranch, cheese, uh, bacon, croutons, onions, and peppers. No problem. We're going to flush the toilet quick. I'm throwing out the trash. If you want any food, you're going to have to wait. I'm back here chucking trash out like a bastard. Here we go. Uh, cheese, greens, and carrots, no problem. The dishes need to be done. Ranch, cheese, oh, everything, fine, and, uh, 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 hang on, I'll be right with you, I'm just washing the dishes quickly. Good grief. Okay, salad. Ranch, greens, and carrots, no problem. What about you? Ranch, cheese, bacon, and croutons, okay. Lots of salads, holy shit. Cheese, onion, and peppers. What about you? Ranch, cheese, bacon, and croutons, okay. And you, ranch, cheese, everything on it, my god. I'm gonna run out of shit at this rate. Uh, cheese, greens, and carrots. Shit, what does that mean? Ranch, cheese, bacon, and croutons. Okay, and what about you? You want cheese, greens, and carrots. Okay, great. Another photo opportunity. Fantastic. Let's also, uh, before we give this guy's corn dog, take out the trash, and then we can hopefully maybe do the dishes. Uh, do you want ketchup and mustard? Yeah, we missed... Oh my god, we just got the dishes. <laughs> we might get it! The combo is still alive! I can't believe it! Corn dog, just mustard. You crazy man. And you too. What do you want? Ketchup and mustard. Fantastic. Holy shit. Wow, 25 times perfect combos. More ice cream. One scoop of vanilla and chocolate. No problem. Look, I used the mouse too. I'm too lazy to use the keyboard. I'm not doing too bad considering though. Uh, oh my god. This guy wants his ranch and greens and carrots. The special. It is kind of rude to actually flush the toilet uh, while you're meant to be making food for people. Here you go. Here's your mustard, corn dog, Saddam. You can get out of here. Oh look, the day's almost done. We've got like five seconds left. This is going to be the last order. Just ketchup. Here you go, toots. This is a bit awkward. It's just me and you in here. Look at that. Uh, have a nice evening. Whoa. 29 times perfect combo achieved. Day one complete. My god, we made 324 bucks today. Wah wah wee wah. We served 51 customers, uh, and two people left uh, very, very angry that they didn't have any uh, food from me. Sherry Soda Towers. Uh, I completed 16 out of 17 chores. I do not remember completing that many chores. Actually, the entire day is like a blur. Uh, it, to me, feels like an actual day of work. I actually feel exhausted right now. I've earned no money off of tips because my menu is trash. I made 118 crumbs. I don't know uh, if that counts towards, uh, you know, the next day's garbage or something like that. My highest combo was 29 times somehow. Uh, I don't even know how. Uh, we earned 24.5% buzz uh, and we got 1% negative buzz, uh, even though we had the corn dogs on the morning menu. We flushed the toilet seven times. We trapped one rat. We washed 30 dishes. We threw out 20 bags of garbage and we uh, dispensed zero justice. Holy shit. My God. I need a dark room and a bed. There we go, one star restaurant checklist. All we gotta do is complete 20 days of service, which, uh, God, can you imagine 20 of those? My God, they'd have to put me into intensive care after like the first three days. Get a 12 times perfect combo on three separate days. We've done that once. Uh, purchase six foods, drinks for your menu. We've already got three. Make over a hundred bucks in tips with the tip jar. We don't have that yet. Pass a safety inspection. I'm looking forward to that. Serve food, four foods in one day. So we'd have to expand the menu and have at least 10% positive buzz from customers. We've done it. One out of one. We're well on our way to becoming a one-star restaurant. Good grief. Here we go. Check it out. End of the day, we got some mail. 
beer upgrade now available. Sounds good. An upgrade for the beer is now available. I would love an upgrade for the beer. If you have purchased this item, you can view the upgrade via the upgrade foods menu. Thanks. No, thank you. More about upgrades. If you don't know about the upgrades, you just upgrade the foods and uh, different options become available. A new item is now available. Oh, there we go. Tip jar. We can start uh, accumulating our hundred bucks worth of tips. Good Christ. And uh, we also uh, are looking for an oil field mechanic. Have you serviced 39-101 pump jacks or 11E-35 oil derricks? No. Then we need your help. Okay. Anything other than spending another day in this wretched restaurant. Holy shit. It's stressful. And all we made was like 300 bucks. I can't believe it. All right. Well, that was Cook, Serve, Delicious. My God. Uh, probably the most stressful and intense game I've ever played in my entire life. Uh, check it out. I got it on Steam. It was like six pounds. Uh, it's definitely worth it. I've not made it even to one star yet, uh, restaurant. I only just started playing this. Uh, but by the looks of it, there's lots of cool stuff to unlock. Lots of cool progression and stuff. I'm sure that your restaurant doesn't always have cracked walls. Uh, especially probably once you get at least to one star. Or maybe, uh, a little bit further on. Uh, there's all sorts of tutorials and stuff uh, that you can look at extra events I don't know what these like coupon things do maybe they give you some sort of magical chocolate bar or, or something there's a coffee machine look at this there's actually a coffee machine in the specialty foods look at that you can make cappuccinos for people you can make pancakes you can even make lobsters and stuff lobsters and what's that crabs or some sort of like disgusting I don't know fish or what the hell is that good grief uh, yeah, so, there we go! <laughs> Cook, serve, delicious! As usual, thanks very much for watching, and, uh, I'll see you next time!